Hey, what's going on guys? It's No Shoes and we're back with another one and today we're going to be reacting to Sage Mode from Vega 7, the Ronin and Machaka. This was suggested by Paul Sample, so thank you Paul for the suggestion. Keep them coming in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, and hit that bell if you want to see more videos like this. But without any further ado, let's get right into it. Let's see what Sage Mode is all about. Let's see what Vega 7, the Ronin and Machaka have to say. Let's get it. Oh, cool. Okay. Interesting. Kind of a mystical beginning here. We got that like Tibetan or I think sometimes you call it Tuvan, but that throat singing, whatever uh, region it hails from. Love the sound of that. Me and my friends have been messing around trying to perfect that sound for years. <sighs> I stopped doing this shit. I don't know if I'm gonna come back. Kuchira was I way no moto. Look me dead in the face. My eyes were Okay, cool little intro bit here with the vocal. Getting ready, preparing. Had a little bit of panning on some background layers coming through the right. Nice touch, but it did feel a little unbalanced. Let's see where it goes from here. Kuchira was I way no moto. Look me dead in the face. My eyes remain closed. I tapped in when the dead from out of their grave rose. I watched the flame go out from the candlestick when I channeled it. Now a nigga in sage mode. Yeah, the mass app. I watched the flame go out from the candlestick when I channeled it. A little bit of a compound rhyme there. Starting slow, nothing too crazy coming down the pipeline yet. I do love this album artwork though. It makes me wonder if there's some like Japanese art inspiration with it, with having that almost, it's like a blue um, blindfold, but it really reminds me of water. It looks like those wave paintings that um, you see in traditional Japanese art. Then you also have this kind of this mask underneath. It almost looks like a balaclava or whatever you would call it. And um it has like that rising sun type of artwork on it where we got the little sun right here, then the rays coming down onto the neck. And um, I don't know, especially like the uh, the explicit sticker. I don't know what language that is. It could be Japanese. It could very easily be Chinese or something else. I'm sure one of y'all knows. So let me know in the comments, but let's keep it going. Stick when I channeled it. Now a nigga in sage mode. Yeah, the mass aboriginal tribe doctor who write these rhymes with an air of stem where most you mad men could die to hypoxia. The high that I supply is like a tricopter. Shit is so potent that the ayahuasca gotta carefully slide from my eyedropper. I freeze and stash him, don't okay. ride him. You talking about ayahuasca sliding from a eyedropper? That rhymes with something. It sounded like he called it a tricopter. I'm wondering, is there a type of three-bladed helicopter that's out there in the world? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's not even what he said. Let's bring it back a little bit. With an air of stand where most you mad men could die to hypoxia. The high that I supply is like a tricopter. Shit is so potent that the ayahuasca got to carefully slide from my eyedropper. I freeze and stash him. Don't ride him. You got to chill a victim. Nikola Tesla lightning bolt. This shit could ride him like I'm Hillary Clinton. Dennis Rodman, Madonna Kill Edition, Aruga SR, a sharpshooter, Bret Hart, got gorilla position, vision, wrestling turn. Okay, lots of references there, talking about Nikola Tesla, Hillary Clinton, Madonna, we got another name or two mentioned in there, at least that I call it. Rodman, Madonna Kill Edition, Aruga It was right before that. Dennis Rodman, Madonna Kill Edition. Dennis Rodman, too. Interesting pacing. Again, pretty slow, very manageable to listen to. There's a couple points where that high kind of a bell chime type of sound, it hits right with the rhyme at the end of the bar. 
And it adds just a little bit of muddiness to some of the bars because his voice is a slightly higher and has a little bit of that more like soft palate nose type of a feel to it rather than more like round coming from the throat, like open, relaxed jaw type of feel. Addition, a Ruka SR, a sharpshooter, Bret Hart, got gorilla position vision. <laughs> Wrestling terms, that's at the curtain right out by the entrance ramp. Most transcribe my words and convert the verbs into a Tibetan chant. The newest verse. Hey, that's great. Most write down my verbs, convert the words into a Tibetan chant, bringing it back to the intro. That's great. And chant. The newest version of the method man. The fool who spared the snake bears the fate of nursing the serpent that bit the blessed hands. I am the bird feather medicine man who sifted through the method man to blessed hands. I don't know. I got to hear a little bit more for you to prove to me that you're the new method man. But we're off to a decent start in, in showing that. Medicine man who sifted through that dirt and lifted the curse from a peasant's land. Perks and credit scams. Twelve dropped the verdict and reprimand. Your man's barely worked with a leg to stand. I was birthed by the virgin of Bethlehem. That old katana, the smith the maid, given from infant. Okay, so he's the, uh, he's the messiah, birth of the virgin of Bethlehem. Some great rhymes, man. Some, uh, you know, some imagery coming through. Some, uh, a lot of great references to just different things, you know, talking about all the celebrities, now getting some biblical references. Where we're gonna move from here, we'll see. That old katana, the smith the maid, given from infant age. Been in battles and never had to replace the shit, cause I ain't chipped the blade. I wiped the razor that turned to crimson shade. Vape and giving niggas the fade with that same oxy clean like he Billy Mays. You suck, has got crimson. Yeah, this is nice, man. Great, great compound rhymes here with crimson shade, infant age, smith and maid. All of those fit perfectly together. But, um, you know, just. Looking for a little bit of a change of pace. It's it's clean. It's great delivery. It's complex rhymes, but it's all very similar. Kind of reminds me of like Lice. And um, they have a, a track, Aesop and uh, Homeboy Sandman. I think it's called Catfish. This is kind of evocative of that in my mind. But especially... When, uh, you know, supposedly this is featuring Machaka, maybe he's the producer and Vega 7 is actually the uh, rapper. We'll see if there's a change up, but with only having one voice for over half this track at this point, I feel like it's time. Let's get a little bit more of a permanent flow switch. Where do we move over? Because the rhymes are keeping it interesting, but then let's add that next level of complexity there. Late. I wiped the razor that turned to crimson shade. Vape be giving niggas the fade with that same oxy clean like he Billy Mays. These suckers got crippled in the ring and laid. These contenders afraid like I'm Tom Poe when his wig was shaved out with a single braid. Sependency privilege like this shit is minute made. Snickering off the shit you niggas made when you hit in the stage like you Ricky Gervais. We'll never think we got similar way. Lots of celebrity references going from Billy Mays all the way to Ricky Gervais. I might not be giving him enough credit on how long he's able to stretch these schemes out, which in itself is impressive. Ace, just know the rivers you wade is for the beginners. I sink these swimmers. This shit is a different way. The mantra's killing conquer. It just so happens that I'm ill and that my skills were sponsored by the Chicago and who could wield the time for me. The venom spilling from out the killer monster. Had to learn to apply the death grip to these niggas like men did back when he lived in Tonga. My spirit conjured from a village in Uganda. Through black magic, they wrapped my lyrics back was to capture that static image longer. Look me dead in the face, my eyes remain closed. I tapped in when the dead from out of their grave rose. I watched the flame relight on the candlestick. I can't handle this shit. I'm exiting the sage mode. Okay. <laughs> interesting great end right there talking about conjuring conjuring his like spirit from uganda a lot of great rhymes great bends in here compound rhymes with multiple syllables it works very well the concept of being in the sage mode almost being in like a shamanic trance whatever it might be Nice image or nice uh, concept there.
But let's hear a little bit of this and finish it out. Watch the flame relight on the candlestick. I can't handle this shit. I'm exiting the sage mode. Interesting. All right. Well, that was something else, man. That was Sage Mode from Vega 7, the Ronin, and Machaka. I have to imagine Machaka is the producer since we didn't hear anybody else. But that was a cool track. I think there could have been some more evolutions within it. But regardless, clean delivery, great rhymes, a lot of good concepts in there. And honestly, a lot more stuff to find with a couple more listens. So I hope y'all enjoyed that. I certainly did. Thank you to Paul Sample for the suggestion. Keep coming in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, and hit that bell if you want to see more videos like this. Much love to everybody in the No Shoes gang. And I will see you all next time.